This is a mail merge that we're doing in Office 2013, I should say Word 2013. I want to show you a few tricks here. Uh, we're going to be sending out letters to a bunch of people where they will uh, be getting a refund and stuff. So we've got the letter open. I had the paragraph marker on. You can merge with an Excel, a database, or another Word file. I'm going to show you something here. We might have a problem, and I'm going to show you how to fix that later on. So we're in here. So we click on Mailings. And then we say start mail merge. And we're going to use a step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. That is the easiest way of doing it. They've been doing this way for several years. You can do many different things here. We're doing a letter. We're going to go to the next step. It's six steps. So I'm going to say use the current document. The letter is open. I can start typing it on here. Now I have to select the recipients. I'm going to browse. By default, it's going into a data source folder here. I'm going to go onto the desktop, and I have a folder that I'm going to go into, restaurant letter here. This is the suppliers. I double-click on it. And then I'm just going to use the first sheet, okay, sheet one. Now, I want to show you something here. If we look at organic goods here, it's not showing the zip code. The text that we're using in the class doesn't even talk about this. You would have to save this as a CSV file. I'm going to keep working with this, and I will show you the trick in a minute. So I'm going to say OK. So what we want to do here, I'm going to go into the next step, write in the letter. Now, I want to put the address block in here. I say address block. And I'm going to use this as a standard one, say OK. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to click before the colon, OK? I want to say, Dear David Smith. So I click on More Items. And then I'm going to double click on First Name, close this out, hit the space bar, More Items, Last Name. Or I could click on that, say Insert, Close. Now, what they're going to do, they're giving that little refund checks or commission checks, whatever you call them. We click after the dollar sign. We click on more items. And then I could say balance, insert, close. We're going to go to the next step here. I'm going to say preview your letters. What it's doing here, everything is like double space. It looks really nasty. You want all these lines here to be even. No space here. We go on the Home tab. We work with that spacing in here. I'm going to say Remove Space Before Paragraph. I click in here. I say Remove Space After Paragraph. If it doesn't work that way, you can always right-click inside here. Go into Paragraph and type in zeros in this area. I say OK. As you can see, we don't have the zip code in there. I would have to actually literally type that zero in here. I will talk about this in a minute as a little bonus. So if I go here and if I complete the merge, I could say at a different le individual letters here. And then I would go here, all of them. And then it's going to show some people here that did not have a balance check coming into them. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here. Do 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 do. Balance check is zero. They're not getting a letter, okay? I'm going to um, close out of this. Of course, I'm going to save it. Actually, I'm going to just do a save. Control S. And then I'm just going to, uh, I'll just call this merge letter. Now, this is the output here. Um, I'm just going to close out of this. I don't need this. Don't save. And then this is the letter where we did the merge here. We did the preview before. I'm saving this, okay? Now, I want to do something else. I just close out of this, okay? I'm going to open this up again. We don't want those other letters showing up here. I go into the recent document. It's going to remember, um, yes, you're going to say yes, okay? Now, what I want to do here, I want to get rid of those zeros there you know, the zero recipients. So what I do, I click on mailings. I click on edit recipient list. I click on filter. And then I choose the field called balance. 
I'm going to say greater than. And I'm going to just say zero. I'm going to say OK. I say OK. Now, when I do this here, and if I want to just preview this thing here, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. If I go into here, you're not going to get any, you're only going to have a total of nine recipients, not 11. Everybody is going to have a dollar amount, okay? Now, what I want to do, I want to fix that zero thing here. I'm going to save this. I'm going to say save. Now, we have that issue with that spreadsheet, okay? I'm going to open this up. It shows a zero here. If you're doing stuff in New England or the Northeast where they have zeros there, you cannot use a spreadsheet. I'm going to do File. I'm going to do Save As. And then I'm just going to go right to this folder here. I'm going to change this to a CSV, comma, separated values here. For the DOS, because I'm not working with a Mac, I click on that. I say save. And then let's say it doesn't multiply, so say OK. Say, do you want to keep using that format? Say yes. You're going to lose everything. That's OK. And I'm going to say don't save. It has been saved. If I open this up, it's just very funky. Now I'm going to go back into the letter. And I'm going to go file. I'm just going to click on this again. I don't want to use that thing there because I want to say no. But I've got the letter here. And what I'm going to do now at this point here, I don't want that previous one in here. So what I do is I go on to mailings. And I'm going to go into start mail merge. Mail wizard here, much easier. This way I'm going to go next. Next, select the recipients. I'm going to use an existing list, and I'm going to browse for this one. And what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to go into my desktop. I'm going to go into my folder called Restaurant Letters. I'm going to go into the CSV. And then when I go over here, I look at this thing here. I'm getting the full zip code. I follow all the subsequent steps. It will work.